What's good, YouTube? You're now tuning in live with Marky Gaming, coming at you guys with another episode of Z Fighters. And on the last episode, I showed off how to get an evil hero, how the whole Xeno chain, Xeno transform worked, talked about the permanent cues, things like that. And on this episode, I will be showing off my main account team. It'll be like a little update because I haven't done one of these in a while. And actually, since it's the beginning of November, and there's something called No Shave November. I'm actually going to participate in No Spend November. I mean, maybe until the Thanksgiving events roll around. But I will try my best not to spend any gamuts on this account. And another thing I wanted to talk about is the new app. Recently, Android Fighters was taken off the App Store for reasons I am unaware of. But now they have re-released a new app. Same game. I'm actually playing on that new app right now. And it is called God of Destruction. Right here. As you can see, it's the same exact thing. There's the Shenron cards, the synth, the gear stuff, and everything like that. It's called God of Destruction. If you want to download it, there it is. I'm actually going to be using this app from now on. But it's still the same thing as Z Fighters. Because I'm playing it, you know, same thing. Plus the, the little app icon looks a little bit cooler because it's like Shenron and a Dragon Ball, so I'm going to keep it. <laughs> so yeah, back to my team. As you can see, we have the same squad with a little bit of a change. But let's start with my main person, hero card, Shenron of Namek, also known as Porunga. Right here I have three boosts, um, Kaioken times 100, probably the best boost that you can do. It's easily obtainable, just wait for the blacksmith, maybe even get it through the turtle shoot, but all it does is cost a little bit of zenny, or not zenny, gamuts, but yeah, I have two attacks on him, two attack buffs on him, I have Kyle Ken times 100 for 33%, and then Beerus Anger for 36%, add those together, that's like 69.5% boost. As you can see, his attack is almost at 20,000. Um, I need to train him some more. He has Slayer and Break. So I will be trying to go as far as maybe Reflect on him. But we'll see where time goes. As you can see, I don't have any of his boost on. But in due time, he will be a monster. Oh, Up next, we have Vegeta Super Saiyan. Boosted 60 times. Um, bonuses, 6 out of 6. Um, he's pretty good. Um, his attack is off the chain as well. His defense is pretty good too. And I'm actually considering retraining him. Maybe retraining him. But at the same time, I, I think I like where his stats are at. And you know, who knows how bad or effective the training will be. But I found a little bit more of a technique in training. And not letting their skills go all the way down to the bare minimum. So I have some retraining to do for sure on other heroes, and I'm actually trying it out on my second account. So when I finish retraining that whole team, you guys will see the update for that one. Up next, we have Vegeta Super Saiyan 2, and everyone else has Slayer. Nothing more, nothing less, but just solid Slayer. But yeah, we have Vegeta Super Saiyan 2, looking like a B16K attack. You know, I'm really just focusing on attack now. Um, defense is cool too, but I plan on using the Ginyu Force as my main defensive boost. So, like I said, I'll, I'll be retraining some of those heroes. Maybe like Broly, the regular Broly, um, Minister Shen, Jaco, Piccolo. So yeah, we'll see. Um, 6 out of 6, plus 31. Pretty solid. I was going to see if I should, you know, turn him evil since I have 30 boost but he becomes like a defense and spirit type hero so I obligated and I chose not to um, so the next one we have Goku Super Saiyan 3 you know I have everything for him 33 boost um, as you can see I have epic energy shield on him not the best but you know his defense isn't that great but I'm pretty sure his attack would be out of this world because his attack rivals Vegeta Super Saiyan 2. And Vegeta Super Saiyan 2 has this plus 32 boost. 
If I gave Goku plus 32, he'd probably be at maybe 18,000. You know, let's just check real quick. Let me add that Kaioken times 20 on my boy. Vegeta Super Saiyan 2. I said 18,000. It's 17,000. Close, but no cigar. Um, like I said, he should be trained properly, efficiently. And I'll try to explain that in the video at some point. But yeah, making his return back to my main team, Gotenks Ghost. You're probably like, why? Um, I had, uh, what's his name? Super Saiyan 2 Gogeta. I had like four boosts. I was missing Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And like, something else. But I, I was close. Oh, the Stardust Breaker. The skill boost. But you know, he was at plus zero boost. Um, Gotenks, you know, I just kept getting more of his souls. They gave out 88 on Halloween Day. I have some candy to open. Maybe I'll do that later. But we'll see. Maybe I'll do that in another video. But, um, yeah, he's at plus 27 right now. I have all his bonuses. And, honestly, he'll only get better. He still has maybe, like, 800 Vigor to go. So, I just need the training potions, really. <laughs> so, yeah, welcome back, Go Tanks. And, yeah. He's going to be solid. Then we have Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. You know, he's probably my weakest hero on this team, if I'm being honest. I mean, I know you see, like, his skills or his stats are a little bit better than Gotenks Ghost. But let's boost up Gotenks Ghost five times and train him some more. Then we'll see, because his attack is higher. But then, you know, he has Kaioken times 20. But... I'm pretty sure he's better than Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. So yeah. He's kind of just here because he's like my 8th strongest hero. Let's be real. And no one, and I have all his bonuses. So that's why he's here. But if I can change him out for a better hero like Beerus, Whis, any of them. Gohan Super Saiyan 2 would probably be gone. But he's good enough for now. Then we have Goku Super Saiyan 4, who looks pretty weak, if I'm being honest. But, you know, he is only plus 3 right now. I only have 3 of the 6 bonuses. Um, I'm actually going to try to get Grey Cuffs and Red Ape Hide right now, or like later, because they're actually in the gear swap. So, gear swap. I'm definitely going to go and... Aim for the red ape hide first because I've seen the gray cuffs show up in the treasure bowl before. So yeah, I'm gonna try to farm as much as possible, and if if necessary, use my universal shards because I will never know the next time these will be available. But these this red ape hide definitely will be getting it shortly. So yeah, I have the Kaioken times 100 on him. You know, I've been training him as much as possible as the plus three boost would allow me. So, yeah, he's on his way to being powerful. So, yeah, and plus he looks cool. He has this universal spirit bomb move. Powerful. And last but not least, we have Shenron Earth. Regular Shenron to me. Um, only two of the six bonuses. As you can see, he's a defense and spirit build. Because he's my anchor and I also don't have any of his bonuses. So why not make him a defensive spirit? Because single attacks take a lot from the spirit. So if his spirit is high and his defense is high, he'll be able to tank a hit and deal out a bunch of damage. And when he's last, he'll be super useful for those, those battles that go to the third round. Because, like I said... The third round determines HP and spirit, so he can usually one-shot, two-shot people. So I like him, and I'm going to continue training him like this until I'm able to get the, these bonuses. But if I do get any of them, they will obviously go to my Purunga first. So yeah, that's my main team. Click on team. I'm at like 468,000 right now. Um, my plan is to hit... Maybe 500,000 before the end of this year. 
maybe before November, but it really depends on how much I play and things like that. So yeah, it's definitely possible, and we will see with time for strikes with Aves. Guinea Force, as you can see, they're all at 1,000. Um, I messed up in training these guys, Blue and Minster Shen. As you can see, their HP, Attack, and Defense, HP, Attack, and Spirit are all cap or not cap. What's the opposite of cap? Like cap at a minimum of nine, I guess. And now if I try training him, they will only minus from defense. So I have to make sure that HP, Attack, and Spirit don't hit rock bottom. Same with Lieutenant Blue, except it's HP, Defense, and Spirit. So yeah, I'm going to have to retrain them. Same with Broly. I mean, I don't even know why I'm still training Broly. But I train who I can, you know. Maybe I'll train Jaco or Piccolo since I have their boost as well. So yeah. And then I have Z Fighter. Just really whatevs. Um, Deborah's in here because my Vegeta has a very decent defense for some reason. So I said, why not? Let's put him in. Let's put him in and add some more defense. But yeah, I still need to power some up. I think it's actually just Deborah. But yeah, um, I'm going to see how this team does for a little bit. And yeah, so that's my team. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, you know. Check out the new app, God of Destruction, with the cool icon logo thing and download it because I know everyone's been waiting for it. I made this video maybe like a day after it was released, so I, I'd like to think I'm on top of it. So yeah, like I said, download the game if you guys would like to play. And like I said, thank you guys so much for everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll catch you on the next episode of Z Fighters. Bye!